Ah, uh, Louis Ross, oh, sorry, Louis Rossman's cock ring chat. Uh, Louis Rossman has taken to heart my personal MO, become ungovernable, become crazier than they can possibly fucking imagine. The city of New York has been trying to fine Louis Rossman $15,000. Why, chat? He operated a business which maintained relationships with one contractor, and he did not have a health care plan. Now, Lewis Rossman says that his only contract employee was based out of Nevada, and even if the guy did suffer an injury during his employment while the company was based in New York, which it no longer is, uh, he would not be obligated to pay for his medical expenses. The New York City has confirmed that he would not be obligated to pay for his medical expenses and that there is literally no possible way him not having a health care plan for his company could have uh, caused his company to fall um, in non-compliance with the state, except for the fact that the state requires you to have a health care plan, even if you would never actually use it. So they have fined him for this crime of not having a piece of paper that says something that they say you have to have $15,000. And Lewis Rossman has come up with a, I will not stop it. I'm, I am, listen, I am like, I'm, I'm a dictator banging on my, my, my post saying Lewis Rossman said this, God damn it. Um, and he did, he did say this. And then, so he has appraised a cock ring of his possession and has uh, at $15,000 because he's a famous YouTube influencer and has decided to mail this to the United, uh, New York city department of health. Uh, as compensation to hopefully settle the matter of his fine once and for all. So I get a fine for $15,000 in the mail. At this point, I'm going to take my audience's advice, and I'm going to assume that this is a joke. So you're going to fine me for having a policy that does cover him, and the way to deal with the fine would be to get a New York State policy that wouldn't cover him. That must be a joke. So I'm going to respond in kind. So what I've done over here is I've prepared some uh, packaging materials for the, what I plan to send back, because I would like to have a little bit of a sense of humor the same way that they have with me for the past 15 years. This is a letter that I wrote. I'm going to read it to you. My apologies for the handwriting. Uh, before I read this to you, there is a confession that I have to make. There is a, um, a cock ring that I repaired on this channel a while back, and uh, I lied to you about this cock ring. If you take a look at these three videos, while I was fixing this cock ring, I claimed that it belonged to a customer. It bothered me that Trojan uh, sex toy manufacturer and condom manufacturer was producing a cock ring that was one-time use only. On Amazon, this is listed as a subscribe and save item. You're supposed to buy a new one with each use, and I found that to be offensive. This does not belong to a customer. This belongs to me. The reason I felt comfortable touching this cock ring without washing it off at all is because it has been on my cock, and it has touched my girlfriend. So, like, it's, it's just one of those things where I'm not... I, I, I lied to you, and I'm, I'm deeply sorry for that. But it's, it's important to understand that, to, un to, to get the context of what I'm going to be doing here. Dear New York State, I see you believe I owe $15,000 for not having an insurance policy, that would not have even covered my employee. I note that you also ignored the policy that did cover my employee. I believe this to be a joke, but I'll level with you. I'm a famous influencer with almost 2 million subscribers on YouTube. This ring has touched my cock and never been washed. Due to my notoriety and fame, I value this cock ring at $15,000. Kindly check store.rossmangroup.com for a proof of value. If you go to store.rossmangroup.com, you will find that this reputable site on the internet with over 1,000 five-star reviews on Google Places that is known worldwide for having economically viable and fair prices on consumer electronics and repair materials values this cock ring at $15,000. Also, it verifies the authenticity that this has never been washed and has been used by me. I trust that this settles the matter. You may keep the change. I don't want to be petty and ask for change back. Um, I, I value this at 15000 They want 14500 well, Let's split the difference. With love and a bit of bodily fluid, Louis Anthony Rossman. I am going to fold up this notice that they sent me, and I'm going to take it along with my letter, along with my bubble mailer and my cock ring, and I'm going to put it on Patrick's desk. Patrick is the shipping clerk here at Rossman Repair Group, and I'm going to instruct him to send this back to New York State. Each and every time I get 
a fine like this from now until the end of time. Whether they're fining me for the crime of having insurance that does cover my employees when they openly admit that the insurance they want me to have wouldn't cover my employees, or them putting a lien and warrant on my company for taxes that I paid 12 years ago that I never knew about because they sent it to Berwick, Maine. From now on, I promise that every time I receive mail from New York City or New York State, I am going to take a used cock ring, I'm going to include it in the packaging as a show of good faith, and I'm going to trust that that settles the matter. I usually end these videos by saying that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. But in this case, it is I that have learned something from you. I have learned how to take a joke, and I've learned how to respond in kind. Thank you very much for this lesson. I've taken it to heart, and I imagine that it is going to result in a lot less stress going forward. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. In case you don't know, it is a joke. Um, a lot of people were freaking out, like, oh my god, he's going to get arrested for, for biological terrorism for sending hazardous materials to the postal system. Ah, oh, this is the end. It is a joke. Um, hate to disappoint. He's not actually sending a used cock. I mean, he might send a, a brand new clean one to them and say, we can wear this. He may be able to sustain an erection, despite being a New York City public servant. Um, but he's not sending a used one that would be ill advised. Though, uh, someone said that he should post on the forum. He does. He posted in this thread a couple times, but I guess people told him not to do that because we're like radioactive. Uh, he's a pretty cool guy. No, he doesn't want to help me. I, I email him sometimes unsolicited rants, and he has never replied to me, chat, despite the fact that I am based. So many of my emails don't get replied to. It's very sad. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.